Hi, thank you for joining us for Ladies on Track at Following Titus 2. Today is Monday, January the 10th, and I have a guest with me today. This is Brayden Olette. I have to think hard yeah, me too. <laughs> to me say too. her new last name. Uh, she was a Weezy, so it's Brayden Weezy. It's not Brayden Weezy Olette. It's Brayden Olette. Brayden Olette. And you didn't keep your maiden mm -hmm. name. <laughs> I, I asked my husband if he wanted me to. He's like, no. No. You're taking my name. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I took my husband's name too. So Brayden is going to share her Ladies on Track devotion. She wrote this devotion. And so, Brayden, it begins in Exodus 14 and 13. So talk to us a little bit about it. So to me, Exodus chapter 14 is the best chapter in all of Exodus. <laughs> this is like where everything is about to happen and you just get to see God move in such a mighty way. It's awesome to me. So our verse today is Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. And it says, And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, this is the best part, you will never see them again. <laughs> you shall never see them again. And... Oh, to have the faith of Moses. Oh, I know. <laughs> he's standing with the Israelites, and he's watching the Egyptians come after them. And they're standing at the Red Sea, and he's like, okay, what's, what's going to happen now? And he just speaks faith into yep. the circumstance. And sometimes I feel like people equivalent faith to blindness, but Moses wasn't blind. He <laughs> saw what was happening. Right, right. But even though there was an atmosphere of tension and anxiety, he still spoke in faith, which is awesome. And I love how he finishes that sentence. You will never see them again. This problem, don't worry, God's going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So today, I challenge you, if you're struggling with something, maybe you feel like you have no control over it, you're in a position, in a rock, in a hard place, um, speak out in faith today. Don't just think it. There's something different when we t translate our thoughts into words. It verberates the atmosphere and it changes things. So speak out in faith today. Don't be don't be afraid to speak out in faith, saying God's going to take care of it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in God's will, maybe you'll never see it again. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all have a great day. Bye bye.